you're keeping track like we are, the 2022 midterm elections are less than, oh, you know, four months away. It's circled on the calendar. Because of cybersecurity threats in past elections, officials want to make sure the process is secure. WHO 13 Zach Fisher joins us with more on a conference addressing the issue today. Zach. Aaron, Iowa Secretary of State Paul Pate spoke during a conference about securing the election process from foreign adversaries and bad actors. There were several officials talking about it, including an official for Homeland Security saying that China and other countries did try to interfere in the election process from 2016 to 2020. During Pate's several minute speech, he touched on how voting equipment in the state is tested for accuracy and protected from these threats. Every tabulator produces a paper receipt of the vote totals that can be matched to the paper ballot totals to ensure the accuracy. Our vote tabulators are air-gapped, which means they're not connected to the internet. The physical protection of each piece of voting equipment is accounted for through a chain of custody in all 99 counties. Iowa has had a few voting law changes of its own in the last couple of years, including shortened early in person voting, absentee ballot mailing windows and more. I talked with an Iowa voter about her worry of cybersecurity threats being used to restrict voting access. Uh, so we do need to be concerned yeah. about election security. Yeah. However, I would uh, heartily agree with Dick in saying that what I have seen, not just in the state of Iowa, but across the country, is that there have been attempts to restrict access to the voting process. And to be clear on what interfering for in elections means coming from that Department of Homeland Security election official, she was talking about shutting off Wi-Fi, shutting off power to different precincts to stop certain areas from being able to tabulate voting. Those were attempts. Those weren't successful. So just an example for you there, Aaron. Yeah, so much for officials to deal with. Thanks, Zach.